Houston Real Estate Radio. Welcome back. You are listening to Houston Real Estate Radio, and I'm your host, Shannon Register, and we are talking with you about things that you need to know in your real estate transaction. If you have a question that you'd like answered, a real estate question, you can call us anytime, day or night on our answer line at 281-882-8088, and you can listen for your answers on Sundays at 2 p.m. I want to tell you about uh, an amazing master plan community over in Northwest Houston. You've probably heard about Bridgeland. This is uh, over an 11,000 acre um, project that's been been going on for some time. This community began back in 2006 and it's referred to as the Woodlands West. Uh, it's uh, really uh, neat community. I brought on a guest here and I want to tell you about it and want him to tell you about it because some great, uh, great things are going on over there. My uh, guest on the show today is Peter Halton. He is the Vice President of Master Plan Communities, the Howard Hughes Corporation. Uh, tell our listeners what makes Bridgeland so unique. Well, size size is one thing. Mm-hmm. At 11,400 acres, um, it's roughly twice the size of Cinco Ranch, uh, yet only less than half the size of the woodlands. But it is a rarity for a community to come along with that size. But the real difference is... The way we approach the development, we we master planned the entire project. We we did an environmental study. Uh, we are located on Cypress Creek, a uh, very environmentally sensitive area. Mm-hmm. And early on, we decided to set aside 3,000 acres of common area and natural area out of 11,400. And that's for parks and recreation. Uh, yes, and and open space that. Um, will be woven throughout the whole community. We also did a master parks plan. We also did a master education plan and and utilized all that as well as inspiration from the woodlands uh, to put together what I believe is is a really superior plan. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not the only one who agrees with that. The uh, National Association of Home Builders uh, voted Bridgeland the number one master plan community, and uh, also Metro Study listed Bridgeland in the top ten of master plan communities. So a lot of people agree with you. This is a really great community, um, and it's growing fast. A lot of uh, exciting things happening over there. And just recently, here in Houston, um, you guys were awarded some awards by the Greater Houston. Building Association. Tell us about your PRISM Awards. Well, we, we did win some PRISM Awards this year um, uh, for landscape design and our Welcome Center. Um, uh, I think our biggest award uh, in our history was probably in 09, where we were named uh, Top Master Plan Community of the Year in the Nation by the National Association of Home Builders. So I think they recognize that we have something special mm-hmm. out here. Um, and you know we're last this year we're we've climbed to number three in the marketplace. We'll probably sell over 400 homes in Bridgeland. Um, the really remarkable part of uh, of that stat is that that's number eight in the country. Um, of course, the Woodlands is we'll we'll sell over a thousand homes this year. Is number one in in Houston, uh, number one in Texas, and number two in the country. Uh, so the Houston area is really way out in front of the rest of the country Definitely, in, in, in yeah. how we're operating. Yes, we're happy to be in Houston where yeah, things are moving. Right. You know, buyers and sellers are always asking, is this a good time to buy and is it a good time to sell? And I tell them, you know, it's a great time to buy. Interest rates are low and, um, you know, it, it's the prices are not outrageous. I mean, you can still get a good deal on a home, whether it's new construction or resell. And then for sellers, um, take advantage of the market. We have low inventory and, you know, well, you get right. some houses uh, moving. You know, these interest rates are just incredible, Shannon, and we all know that they won't last. Uh, the other thing that's happened happening out there is uh, land and uh, particularly lot prices are moving up at a very rapid pace. You know, we, we've had four to five years with with land and home prices being depressed by uh, the economy. Mm-hmm. And now we have a situation where capital is, is extremely hard to get to develop land. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have a constrained capital market. Uh, you have an increasing demand, and lot prices are moving up pretty aggressively all over town. 
and that will cause new home prices to move up, which should trickle down to existing homes. And and I would, I'm really expecting to see our home appreciation rate in the next couple of years in in the Houston area to be north of six percent, which is pretty remarkable considering a long-term average is about four but I, I think in the next couple of years mm -hmm. we're going to see some strong appreciation and that coupled with low interest rates uh, if I was a buyer I would be thinking uh, now's a excellent time to buy. I definitely agree with you. And over in Bridgeland, y'all have a lot of different home builders, a lot of variety, not only in your home builders, but in what you're building. A um, lot of variety. Tell us about that. Well, we have uh, 13 of some of the best builders in Houston. Um, we have uh, 13 different neighborhoods and price points that mm -hmm. people can find all the way down from 160,000 at the low end to over a million in our custom area. And then we have something very unusual called uh, Lakeland Heights, which is our, our TND, traditional neighborhood design. And it's a very walkable community designed. Uh, we used architecture from West U. Um, we used architecture from the Heights and we put together a pattern book and and built a whole community of 350 home sites around this plan. No driveways, all the uh, homes are served by mm -hmm. garages in the rear, uh, large park areas, and then tied to a village center. Uh, so so basically, TND, you said that stands for Traditional Neighborhood Design, design. Mm -hmm. and y'all took a variety of different types of homes around the city and incorporated those varieties into That's the homes correct. that you're building as new homes in Bridgeland, is that right? That's correct. And David Weekly Homes has had experience all over the country in building this style of home. We we added a new builder this year, J. Kyle Homes, and uh, it's a wonderful neighborhood uh, to go see. We've got some pictures on the website and some video on the website of, of Lakeland Heights, and it's really unusual to find that 26 mm -hmm. miles uh, outside of the central business district. Well, I know, and we were talking a little bit about this uh, before the show about, you know, you don't want the, the neighborhood that looks, everything looks cookie cutter and the same, you know, right. the two-story brick homes, house after house after house. So it's nice that it's got a different design. It's going to have a different feel uh, to the community as well with the um, lots of different lifestyles um, that you're welcoming it, into the community. It will, and, and then when you drive through the neighborhoods, um, the amount of common space, and water. We have over 300 acres of lakes uh, just in this first phase of Bridgeland. Uh, a extensive trail system. We we built a 1.2 mile trail along Cypress Creek, Cypress Creek Nature Trail, uh, in the trees. Um, every 600 feet, there is a seating area and signage about the flora and fauna and history of the ranches, the Long and Ball and the Josie ranches. So. When you go out there, you'll be, I think, amazed about the amount of water, common space, and natural area that we have woven through our community. I think that's something that buyers are really demanding now is is to, you know, for a while the suburbs were just kind of stacking people on top of each other and everybody was kind of okay with that because they wanted to be out in the suburbs. But I think now everybody is really wanting to have that nature feel, that, you know, relaxed atmosphere and, and being able to get out in the community and exercise and, you know, do the things that you want to do, go to the park with the kids and have it all right there, not have to get in your car and go anywhere to do it. And um, so I think that y'all have really um, incorporated all of that really nicely into the community. Well, that's right. That's a definition of a master plan community where you, you, you don't have to leave the, your, your boundaries. Uh, and in that regard, since day one, we've had a full-time activity director. We have a 6,000 square foot community center on the, on the site, Lakeland Village Activity, Activity Center. Center. Tell us about the Activity Center. Well, uh, we keep it humming with a, a whole variety of programming for the residents. We have classes. We have uh, exercise classes. We have art classes. We have 16 different neighborhood groups who meet there, um, ranging from book club to um, babysitting clubs to ladies clubs. I mean, just a, a wide variety of things. And that activities director uh, is in that building, and she keeps uh, our community humming. We have concerts in the park. We have movies in the park. We have every holiday 
uh, something going on every holiday. <laughs> well, we have big community events. So coming up is in October is our Halloween fest. Mm-hmm. Howl a wing fest. Uh, <laughs> that's a dog event. We we attract last year seven thousand people to that event. We'll have ten food trucks and forty different entertainment acts and. And we do another one in the spring called Nature Fest with a similar type venue. So the so whole the, community is is designed to be very active and offer residents the opportunity to get together mm-hmm. in a variety of different uh, interests. Very good. All right. Well, let's go, let's take a quick break and we'll come back and uh, talk a little bit more about Bridgeland, a fabulous master plan community on the west northwest side of Houston. I'm Shannon Register. We'll be right back after this commercial break.